Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today, I start on the frame for my dodecahedron. Barb Makes Things! When you're building things, you do research. At least, I do. Makes it easier. So I found this video called Making a Dodecahedron the Easy Way. I said, nah, yeah, let's, let's make it the hard way. Here's how. Step one, go to the hardware store and buy two by fours like the video you watched says. Don't get two by eights or two by tens or heaven forbid two by twelves, which you think might be easier and less wasteful. Step two, have a friend with a table saw who says that she's available on a particular day for you to come and use it. Hi, Zorro. Then when that day comes, nap on the couch instead because you're tired and or lazy uh, and it's your weekend. And then say to yourself, self, that's okay. Uh, I can go with plan B and try this tomorrow at Crash Space with a circular saw. Step three, try it with a circular saw. Don't use a digital angle finder. Instead, laser cut a small piece with the exact angle you need to set the circular saw to. Actually, this part did work well, though it took a little longer. Cope with the limited table space by setting up your 2x4s on sawhorses in the alley. Try accounting for the lack of table saw fence by clamping up another 2x4 that you can run the circular saw alongside. Try this out on your first 2x4 until you realize that there's a slight warping that's being more problematic than you expected. I have a distinct impression that this would be much easier with a table saw. Realize also that clamping down an ever smaller piece of wood is getting difficult, and that 2x8s or 2x10s or, heaven forbid, 2x12s would be way easier and less wasteful. Step 4. Come up with a new plan. Instead of using a 2x4 as a guide, make nice straight lines along the length of the wood that you can follow carefully by hand. Follow carefully by hand, but you aren't perfect, so just go with good enough. Be pleased that you're getting roughly the right shape. Do all the cuts on the same side all at once, so you have more to clamp for longer. Regular ground, or the sawdust. And clean it up because you're not a jerk. Step five, realize that the shed with the chop saw is exactly eight feet wide, which is the same size as those two by fours you cut. Spend a lot of time turning the chop saw back and forth so you can cut the pieces to the right size with this unusual angle and conserve as much as possible. Step six, the easy way video put these pieces together with hot glue, which makes sense because they are really crazy angles but you want it to be more permanent than that. So try your best to clamp them and use wood glue. Watch it all fall apart the next day. Then make little sistering support pieces to glue to the insides and clamp it up again. This is as much as I was able to get through this week. Step seven, resolve to do it the easier way next time with a table saw and larger dimensional lumber. The pieces you made are not uniform and probably won't look all that great without a lot of planing and sanding. Make and use aligners for the glue up. I took the time to do it for the Pentagon drum shells. I can do it for this. So this is less the beginning of the actual dodecahedron frame and more the first stumbling steps in that direction. Eh, 
We learned stuff. Let's see if I can make more concrete progress next week. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how to's. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.